Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want to do is talk about the V-graph. And the V-graph is not a very mathematical uh, description of the absolute value parent graph, but that's what a lot of students remember it as, the V-graph, the graph that looks like a V. And basically, uh, the equation for our absolute value graph is y equals absolute value of x. So to understand what the parent graph is going to look like, um, I think it's easiest always to create, an to create a table and then a graph. And then we can kind of go through kind of the characteristics or you know, just what exactly the parent graph graph looks like. Um, first of all, though, I do want to make sure we understand at least what absolute value is. So I'm going to kind of go through that very, very quickly. Remember what the absolute value represents is the absolute distance from 0. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what that means is if I, it doesn't matter if I travel to the right to positive 5 or travel to the left to negative 5, I still traveled five units. It doesn't matter if it's in the positive or negative direction, I still travel five units. So therefore, the absolute value of 5 is equal to 5. And the absolute value of negative 5 is also equal to 5. Because that's good. Think of, like, think of it as distance, not direction. The absolute value, it doesn't matter if you travel in the positive or negative direction, you still travel five units. All right. So we're, that's going to be very helpful when we create our table, our table for the absolute value function or equation in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a table of values. Now, when creating a table of values, what I'm simply going to do is choose some arbitrary points to plug in for my x. And let's do 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. Now, as I mentioned, the absolute value of any number is always just going to be that positive value of the number. So I can do this table very, very quickly. Now, let's go and plot what these would look like. So 0, 1, 2, 3. OK. So now, just plot my points. And you can see this is what we call the parent graph. Now, it's very, very important to kind of understand a couple things about the parent graph. Um, real quick, first of all, notice that at the parent graph, at 0, 0, it kind of rebounds. And that's what we call our vertex, which I'll go over more later. And then also kind of notice that the, the slope of this is 1 over 1. It goes up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Where here is a negative slope, up one to the left, up one to the left, up one to the left. So those are kind of some very, very important things that we need to kind of discuss when looking at the parent graph. It opens up. It's going to extend indefinitely. And um, always, you can see that it has the same slope going by. So it has an axis of symmetry about our y-axis. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your parent graph. When we get into graphing with transformations, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take this graph and transform it. We're going to compress it, stretch it, shift it up, shift it down, reflect it. Uh, so we're going to do a lot of fun things with it. But the main important thing is you have to know what this parent graph looks like before we can get into trans transformations. Thanks.